All right, guys, I'm going to work through all the questions on today's segments of circles problems. The first one, we have a secant and a tangent, and the rules for these are outside times total equals outside times total. So what that would look like for the tangent is that the outside is the total, so we just square it. And for the secant, the outside part is 9, and the total is 9 plus x. Um, so that'd be 225 equals 81 plus 9x. Don't forget to distribute. So um, that means that 9x equals 225 minus 81, which is 144. So x equals 16. Crushed it. Chord chord rules. Part times part. So 4x plus 2 times 8 equals part times part, 9 times 4x. I like to divide first when possible. If I divide both sides by 4, this becomes 2. And that becomes a little bit easier. So that would be 8x plus 4 equals 9x. So x equals 4. But part times part equals part times part was the premise. Secants, outside times total, that'd be 8x on the outside. The whole thing would be 8x plus 6x, which is 14x, equals outside 7 times the whole thing would be 16. I like to divide first. Divide both sides by 8, this would be 2. Divide both sides by 7, this would be 2. Divide both sides by 2, this would be x squared equals 1, right? We have x times x equals 1. So x equals plus or minus 1, but you can't plug in, like negative 1 would make that negative. So it's just the positive 1. Here we have a tangent again. So it's x plus 3 squared, which we write out as x plus 3 times x plus 3, and we have to distribute. You have to distribute all of that, and you're going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9. The other part is outside x minus 3 times total. Well, the total would be x minus 3 plus 16, which is x plus 13. So we distribute that all out as well, and we get x squared plus 10x minus 39. So this equals x squared plus 10x minus 39. Subtract x squared from both sides. And you are left with 6x plus 9 equals 10x minus 39. So x is going to be 12. We would get 4x equals 48. So x is 12. Now they also want to know how long is nm. 12 plus 3 nm would be 15. Here we have another situation. Outside times total. Well, because it's tangent... We can just square that number, so that's x plus 8 times x plus 8, which is x squared plus 16x plus 64. Up here we have outside 12 times total would be 12 plus 15, which is 27. 27 times 10 is 270 plus 54, it's going to be 324, let me type it in, 12 times 27, 324. So that's going to be 324. So this equals 324. Subtract the 324 over, 64 minus 324, and I get x squared plus 16x minus 260. Remember I said if you have big numbers, try the most obvious. And the most obvious one here is 26 times 10, and that's the one that works. It's going to be plus 26 and minus 10, so x equals negative 26 or positive 10. Now, if I plug in negative 26, that's bad news. That's not going to work. So it's got to be positive 10, which means hg would have to be 18. 10 plus 8 is 18. Um, we got some chords going on. So part times part. So those two parts, that'd be x plus 9 times x plus 6. That's x squared plus 15x plus uh, 54. Then we have 
part times part would be 2 times x plus 12. And that would be 4x plus 24. So we end up with x squared plus 15x plus 54 equals 4x plus 24. Make one side 0. We would have x squared minus 4x would be 11x minus 24 would be 30. Feel like I messed up. 9 plus 6, 9 plus 6 is 15. 2x. Oh, I did mess up. I was like, I don't think this is it. So I messed up there. That's just x plus 12. 2 times x plus 12 is 2x plus 24. So it's not 4x plus 24. It's 2x plus 24, which would make this 13, and that factors. That's going to be x plus 10 times x plus 3, which is negative 10 and negative 3. Now we have to test them out. If I plug in negative 10, negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1. Nope. So that's out. If I plug in negative 3, negative 3 plus 9 equals 6. That's okay. Negative 3 plus 6 is 3. That's okay. Negative 3 plus 12 is 9. That's okay. So negative 3 works everywhere. All right, this was a pretty tough one. We did this in class. I'm going to start with the 4x plus 1 squared, which is 4x plus 1 times 4x plus 1, which is 16x squared plus 8x plus 1. Then we have over here our outside. I'm going to rewrite it as 2x plus 5 times the total, which is 2x plus 5 plus 48, which is 2x plus 53. And that's going to get us 4x squared plus 106x plus 10x plus 250, 265. So we end up with 16x squared plus 8x plus 1 equals 4x squared um, plus 116x plus 265. Clean this up. I want my x squared to stay positive, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the left side over. This will be minus 4x squared, that's 12x squared. Minus 116x, that's minus 108x. Minus 265, that's minus 264 equals 0. Now, I told you today is only leading coefficients of 1, so this is divisible by 12, giving us x squared minus 9x minus 22. So that's x minus 11 and x plus 2. So x equals 11 or negative 2. But when I plug in negative 2, I get negative 7. That can't work. Nope. So x equals 11 is the only number that actually works. Here it tells us it's going to be quadratic formula. We have 12 squared equals outside x times total. Now, guys, the total would be from the intersection all the way to the opposite side. If that's 3, then these are both 3. So the total is x plus 6. So that's x squared plus 6x equals 144. That's x squared plus 6x minus 144 equals 0. So that's a quadratic formula. I need you to show your work. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Let me get that in the calculator. And I get negative 3 plus or minus 3 root 17. Well, negative 3 minus something is going to be a big negative number. Can this be a negative number? Nope. So it's got to be the positive one. So it's going to be negative 3 plus 3 root 17. This is kind of a tricky one. I'm going to call this piece x. And what we're going to do is part times part which is 5 times x equals part 
equals part times part 2 times 7. So that's x equals 14 fifths. Once we know x equals 14 fifths, then I'm going to call this y. And we're going to focus on the big circle. Well, the big circle, this, this length in orange would be y plus 2 times um, this length in black would be 7 plus 1.5, which is 8.5. So that's part times part equals this piece would be 4 plus this number. 4 plus 14 fifths is 34 fifths. So that equals 34 fifths times this part over here would be uh, 10. Excuse me. So over here we have 8.5y plus 16, that's part times part, times 10 would be 68. So 8.5y, 68, minus 16 would be 52. 52 divided by 8.5, and I get y equals 104 over 17. That doesn't feel right. Let me look here real quick. That's y plus 2. That's that part times 8.5. 8.5 times 2 is seven, oh, 17. 8.5 times 2 is 17. So let's try this again. So if that is 17, right? 8.5 plus 17. Minus 7 would be 51. 51 divided by 8.5 is 6. That sounds a lot better. So this part equals 6. So F to I, we already got earlier. That was 14 fifths. A to C would be 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 7 is 15. Plus 1.5 is 16.5. And it says use decimals. If you choose, be consistent. Type either one. So I need to use des. If I use a fraction on the first one, I need a fraction on the second one. So 16.5 as a fraction would be 33 over 2. So just make sure you're consistent. Either make them both decimal answers or both fraction answers. Down here, it's another quadratic formula. There's no numbers over on this, so that's just useless. But we do know we have outside 7 times total, which would be x plus 7. Right, This whole thing would be x plus 7. And then we have x plus 6 squared, which is x plus 6 times x plus 6, which comes out to x squared plus 12x plus 36. So I have 7x plus 49 equals x squared plus 12x plus 36. Make that side 0. Minus 7 would be plus 5x. Minus 49 would be minus 13. So plug it into quadratic formula. I do need to see all your work. It would be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So I'm going to type that in. And I get negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 77 all over 2. Well, the negative 1, negative 70, root 77 is more than 8. Negative 13, yeah, that's going to, divided by 2 is still bigger than 12, uh, bigger than 6. It's not going to work. So just the positive 1 is going to work. So it's negative 5 plus the square root of 77, all that divided by 2. That's all she wrote.